I want the income. That's what I care about because at the end of 10 years, I want to make sure that my income is guaranteed and I don't have to keep rolling it over, that I can guarantee it for life. That is what most clients that, that reach out to me, that's what they want. They want that guaranteed income, okay? Hey, welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guys show. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what's your annuity type? So what's your annuity type? Do you like blonde? Do you like brunette? Do you like bald? Do you like hair? What's your type? Okay, there's so many different annuities out there. It can be hard to decide, all right, should I do the fixed annuity? Should I do the fixed indexed annuity? But what about the variable up here? They promise you all these returns and then I'll get guaranteed income based upon those returns. And of course, you know, if the market goes down, I'm, I'll lose a bunch, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So what type are you? Do you like risk? Most of my clients say no. Most of my clients are like you. They want guarantees. They want growth. They want income and they want market risk protection. They don't want losses. Really, when I think about what's my type, right? What's my type? Is my type a fixed annuity, you know, a MIGA where I've got this 5% and it's rolling in no matter what. So the market goes down, I'm getting that 5%. If the market goes up 20%, I'm still getting that 5%, right? If inflation's going up 10%, well, I'm still getting that 5%, but that's what I want. I want that guarantee. Maybe you're that. Maybe that's your type, and that, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you have some money sitting in a bank account, and it's just earning nothing. And you're like, oh, I want, I want to put it somewhere, and I want to lock it in longer than a CD will give me, and I want some, some tax deferred. Well, then maybe a fixed annuity, a MIGA, would be the best thing. If you're looking for income, though, an indexed annuity with an income rider might be a better solution especially when it's tied to an index. What if the index is the S&P 500? Okay, and what if the S&P 500 index goes up 20%? Well, it sure be nice to have that instead of the little 5% over here, right? And then what if I want guaranteed income at a high withdrawal rate? What if I can get a withdrawal rate of six or 7% based on my account value? Wouldn't that be awesome? How about this? What if I have an income account value that's four or five times the amount of my actual account value. Hmm, that might not be a bad idea either. So when it comes to deciding what type you are, you know, what, what type attracts you, okay? Are you looking for just a fixed or you want the index side where if the market goes up, you can capture the growth. If the market goes down, at least you're protected. You're not getting that fixed 5% but at least you're not losing any money. So I want to share my screen real quick and you can decide what type are you? Let's take a look at the MIGAs, the fixed annuities. And you know what? We'll just call this the blonde, right? We're looking at the, maybe my type is, you know, a 10 year term, right? Maybe I want to have a higher rate locked in. And I don't mind locking my money up a little bit longer, right? Well, look at that. The top one right now is with Equitrust. They're giving me 6%. That's not bad. And then the next one, Oxford Life and then Clear Spring, they're both A-rated. Maybe I'm thinking, you know what? I want an A-rated versus a B++ because they've got a little bit more capital, right? The thing to, to remember with ratings is typically to get a higher rating, you have to have more capital. And usually when you have more capital, you don't give as much growth to the annuity hold. So, but B++, that's not bad too. I mean, that's pretty close to an A. So if you look at that, I mean, if I'm making 6% and this is based off of what, $200,000, then if I pull up the calculator, let's see exactly what this would show us, okay? All right, so we are gonna do, and then let's see, $200,000. I'm just basing this off Nevada. Non-qualified account, doesn't really matter. It'll, it'll perform the same in a qualified account. But look at this, guaranteed ending value of $358,000 off of 200 grand. That's not bad. Now, of course, that's me allowing it to compound, right? 
So I let it compound and I'm gonna let this thing sit for 10 years. So the first year, of course, my $200,000 is worth is going to earn 6% and that is $12,000. Now, if I leave that in there, now all of a sudden I have 212,000 earning 6%. And so now it's a little bit higher, 12,700. But now let's fast forward to year five or six. Look at year six. Now year six, it is earning 6% off of $267,000. That's pretty good. So now I'm getting $16,000. Now at the 10th year, I'm now earning $20,000 on an account value of 337,000. That's the power of compound interest. Now, of course, if I wanted to just take this money out and live off of it, this particular annuity lets you take the interest out every year. So if you wanted to do that, you can certainly do that. And then just, you know, at the end of the term, you get your money back out, which in this case would be $200,000. But remember, you now have to roll it into something else. What if interest rates are a lot lower? What if you need higher income, like six or 7% and now you can't find it? So you have to think about it. Uh, really it, it take the long view, because if you're looking for guaranteed income for the rest of your life, maybe your type is, well, the brunette, okay? We'll call the income annuity our brunette. And I'm going to assume that I really don't need income for 10 years. So I'm 60 years old, I got the same $200,000, now I'm throwing it in, I'm gonna let it sit for 10 years, okay? The index might earn something or it might not. What if the market goes down for 10 years? Well, I guess that's the risk I'm willing to take because 10 years from now, yeah, if the market doesn't make anything, that's not very good, right? But, but my type is the fixed index annuity, the brunette with an income rider. I want the income, that's what I care about because at the end of 10 years, I want to make sure that my income is guaranteed and I don't have to keep rolling it over, that I can guarantee it for life. That is what most clients that, that reach out to me, that's what they want. They want that guaranteed income, okay? And so we're gonna do that. We're gonna put $200,000 in, we're gonna let it sit for 10 years. And I'm gonna go in here and put no payment decrease, okay? We don't want these payments to go down. We wanna make sure it is set for life. And let's see exactly what the highest one all right, so we've got Sentinel Summit, which is B++. Then you've got uh, NASA, B++. Then you've got American Equity, A-. minus, And then you've got Athene, A-rated. And then you've got a couple of A+, North American and Midland. So all great companies. Um, so, you know, maybe I want a company with just a little bit higher rating. So I'm willing to go with, let's say, American Equity. Okay. American Equity. Wow, $31,376, that's pretty darn good. In fact, if you remember in my last illustration of the fixed annuity, you know, our blonde, you know, our blonde was given us what? $20,000 on the 10th year. This one on the 10th year is giving me 31,000. That's pretty good. And we can see, you know, it's okay. It's okay. You can see the interest, uh, what, the, what the index is making. It's not a ton, but I'm not really after that right? I don't really care about having an account balance of 350 grand, okay? Because if, if I want the account balance to be higher, I will definitely go after the MIGA, right? But I want income, okay? Income to me is way more important. So I'm going to look at income base. You can see the income base right here. See, 235,000 it starts at, and it ends up at $432,000. That's pretty good. And that's multiplied by a 7.25% rate, not a six. So now all of a sudden, my real value for income is not 350,000, it's 432,000, and it's multiplied by a higher rate, 7.25, which has given me a lifetime income withdrawal of $31,000 a year for the rest of my life. If I take that out for 30 years, it's almost a million bucks. That's not bad from 200 grand, okay? So when you are thinking about annuities and you're thinking about what, what type of annuity is for me, do I want the blonde or I want the brunette? Do I want the redhead? Do I want the redhead, the variable annuity? I would say that would be the redhead, right? Um, you have to ask yourself, what do you want? Do you want the fixed annuity that gives you that, that uh, guaranteed growth, whether the market is up or down? That's just what you want, um, no matter what. And if that's the case and you don't need it for income, then a MIGA or a fixed annuity is perfect, okay? But in the case of wanting income, then a fixed index annuity with an income rider might be a better option. If I want the highest amount of return, 
from my money, I might think about doing something uh, like a fixed index annuity with an income rider that's going to give me a lot more income and it's going to guarantee it and it's going to make it so I don't have to keep rolling it into something else hoping for higher income. I don't have to deal with that. And if I'm married, I don't want my wife to have to deal with that either. I just want that, that income to just keep coming in no matter what. You have to decide, you know, what, what do you want at your retirement? We won't know unless we sit down together and that's where I come in. Uh, I'm happy to chat with you. So if you want to book a call, there is a link below this video and it'll go directly into my calendar. Anyways, look forward to chatting with you. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Hey there, I hope you learned something today. If you have, share your thoughts in the comments section below.